Hello and welcome to yet another edition of the Saturday morning fate game of Till Dawn. Today we are welcomed by myself, Bianca Zelda, here to play this Evil Hat production games. And then we have on my my right, Lauren. Who are you playing today? Hi, it's me. I'm always prepared to go first. I know, I know you love it. <laughs> I love it so much. I'm Lauren. I'm that salty ginger over on Twitter, and I am playing Material Girl, who is just here to have fun and cuddle and not throw shade because I would never do that. Ever. Mm, not you. Definitely not you. No. Underneath Lauren, we have Victoria. Who are you playing today? I am playing Rave. I am just here to have the best party of my life. <laughs> and in short, to like make my party your party. Ooh, I like that. Share the party. Yeah, we want a giant party. Perfect. And then last but not least, Greg, how's it going? Oh, it's going well. I can't wait to play. It's Saturday morning. It's cartoony time with a little Gem and the Holograms inspired DJ action. I will be playing Optimus Rhyme. And Optimus is here to make sure that his team wins, his family wins, and he doesn't let them down. And I cannot wait to shred. One shall stand, one shall fall. Let's I need it. like a sound bite of that, please. <laughs> I'll set it as my text notification. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Please send that one. And then normally we would be joined by the wonderful Hadil. However, due to some, what was the word I wrote down? <laughs> so Hadil can't be here due to technical issues. However, Glimmer's not here due to some producer drama that we will get into later. For the time being, this game, Till Dawn, is written by Kira McGran. It is the official Fate Conversion um, using both Fate Rule Books by Evil Hat Pr Productions. Um, just to kind of, we'll go back and we'll talk a little bit about what we've done, what we've accomplished. We spent our first session doing character creation. We ran through um, the wonderful setup that Roll20 had for us in order to create our characters. Are you able to yeah. shift the scene over? Oh yeah, I can do that. Do y'all want to see it? There we go. Yay! A Beautiful. So we took the time and used the Fate Core Edition to set up the character sheets. Everything is easy to input. You've got all of your moves there. You have your aspects. You've got any potential consequences, your stunts laid out. It is so heckin' nice. After you've got it all set up, you click a button and you are good to fight, i.e. sing, dance, and let your fans feel everything you feel. Um, aside from, yes, beautiful. So when you act fabulously, oof, that would have been a really good roll. Mm -hmm. I hope you roll poorly now. Oh, you got all yeah. the good ones out. I mean, what? what? I'm a team effort. I'm a team player. <laughs> but I also want my NPCs to win. They're wonderful people. Why, they're terrible. They Eco are. Edward? He's, He's here for the environment. <laughs> oh, heck. Um, yes, yeah, so we've got our dice roller. We've got everything set up. Um, after our session one and we finished character creation, we went into the game itself where we had our first DJ battle. The premise is to get to 10 victory points first. This can either be accomplished by out singing, out dancing, out performing your enemy. You can downright crush them with your approach by being, I mean, right here, Rave would have been downright fabulous. And with that aura, she could have definitely destroyed her enemies. <laughs> but DJ Dog is awesome. Who wouldn't cheer for them? Blessed little Corgi, who was crushed before by Optimus Rhyme, laying on the ground like a little tiny dog. <laughs> and then we have now it's the intermission i also realized we need some good 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 intermission music mm -mm -mm. nothing like hanging out in the green room Ooh, while listening to some tunes by kevin mcleod <laughs> excellent it's like the exclusive sponsor of this <laughs> <Right>? competition <laughs> 
you've all been led back into the green room. The intermission is occurring. You've done, you've performed wonderfully on stage. Your handler, your agent is chattering your ears off. You all were wonderful. Thank you so much. The crowd went wild for me. There's nothing better we can do. If only you can just sign over here. I will have some more pillows for you, material girl. Optimus Rhyme, there's a nice quiet spot in the corner, but please be warned that we are having the meet and greet in five minutes. The number one fan to the Interrobangs will be in here. They have been informed that Glimmer will no longer be here. As you all know, there was a lot of issues with her denim jean jacket. Over 8 million people voted to see her in that coat. When she didn't appear out with that, there were death threats, there were riots. So we've chosen to remove Glimmer from the scene for her safety. But please, please be kind to the guest, be kind to the fan that has entered because they're a little bit of a Glimmer fangirl, as you say. But please, you have five minutes to calm down, debrief, drink some water, and uh, we'll let you know when the fan will be here. And then the handler walks off with uh, her digital clipboard. That's I am getting... Sorry. <laughs> um, no, 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 I was just going to say, I, I am getting such a Hunger Games yeah. uh, vibe from the... the, 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 the outside. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Exactly. It's I've so never good. seen the Hunger Games, so this is all just fun. No, it's a it's it's a huge exactly what it should be. It's awesome. Okay. <laughs> you have a little bit of time to unwind. Um, we've got a couple areas of interest. We have a new refilled bowl of I think it was pink and red Skittles. Yes. We've got some more DJ pillows. Dog is not allowed near them. The exclamations have not been led into the green room just yet. Okay. They're still being debriefed by their handler. Yeah, things will get dark if DJ Dog <laughs> shoves their face in my bowl of Skittles again. They're just a precious little hologram corgi. Mm -mm. Gross. <laughs> can we have a team meeting? Can we have a team meeting? Can we huddle up? Or can we, me and Ray can just have one side of Optimus Rhyme? And then nobody can see us. So come on, come okay. on. Okay. And I just like lounge over the side of the chair to like lean into the huddle. <laughs> yeah, Optimus is currently sitting there and inside the holographic hard light suit, there's information about what has transpired with Glimmer's absence as, you know, social media or the uh, the Equip 2121 equivalent is kind of blowing up around. Um, I mean, the headlines are, like you said, they're disastrous. It's like Lansing, Michigan, gone. You're like, oh, what? Yep. You know, the Glimmer riots. And um, so he's just sitting there and deep inside the hard light holographic Optimus Rhyme suit, a single tear goes down. Optimus is real cheap as he sees everything that's transpired, but then he huddles up. Right, I'm trying to like Pretty see good. in there and I just think that you're sweating. Do you want to come out? You look hot. Do you want to come out? I'm fine. Okay, that's fine. Okay, okay. So um, what do we do? What, what do we, what do we do? What do we do? Uh, well, I think like we should just like dance like just do what we do i mean what does glimmer do like anyway? right now we should dance now well dancing always makes me feel better okay right, i'm gonna start bouncing see if it helps uh has it helped no okay okay <laughs> then maybe not want a skittle and i like try because i'm kind of upside down um, leaning over the side of the chair, I try to grab it and like hold it and not spill any Skittles as I'm like reaching out over my head with the bowl. But do you spill the Skittles? I almost want to make you roll an approach for that. Okay, what do I roll? Heck, how how are you approaching this? You doing it like chill about it? Yeah, I'm super chill. All right. They're <laughs> <laughs> gonna be all over me, aren't they? Right, and you're gonna find that like two purple Skittles that were accidentally slipped in there. Yep. Oh, Here it goes. <laughs> no <laughs> Skittles again. Skittles on the ground, Skittles in your lap, except the ones that happen to be in your lap are mixed with like those two purple Skittles that were not taken out. I see them like sitting here on my chest and I just like try to like 
eat some off. <laughs> Uh, material girl <laughs> looks like she's about to cry as she starts trying to pick Skittles out of her hair. Okay, it's right. gonna be okay. Yeah, yeah, of course I'm all right. Why wouldn't I be all right? I'm covered in Skittles. That's everyone's dream. Well, it's apparently DJ Dog's dream. <laughs> okay. Where is DJ Dog? He can like just eat them up off the floor, right? DJ Dog is beaten. <laughs> he left with his tail between his legs. Mm. Ha 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 <laughs> Okay, so like, what are we gonna do right now? Like, don't we just like wait till this fan like shows up? But I don't know. You're, so nobody else is worried that, I mean, I'm sure Glimmer will come back. I don't know, like, she was pretty upset and like her producer was like going off and like there was a helicopter, you know, like I- You saw a helicopter? Well, I, I heard it. So like I was outside, right? Because like I need to get some air last night. It, it was a little stuffy in my throne room, you know? Like there's just too many. And I think like, honestly, I think the fire department probably should have shut it down. But I went outside like, you know, and uh, to get some air and there was a helicopter. And like, who else takes a helicopter? Glimmer, it's gotta be. She left us? <laughs> she left us? Oh. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Um, I've got, I've got stuff. I have a stunt. Ooh. It's called de-escalation. <laughs> I really like this. Um, so if things are getting heated, it's not really heated, but, um, you have a few techniques to calm people down. When you roll, overcome using chill to pass by someone and succeed, you can suppress. Okay, so narratively in this situation, Material Girl, um, depending on how you feel, I mean, I would make you roll, because this would be a strain on your relationship. I have too many papers. Um, yeah, effectively, like, effectively, you're going to roll to figure out how you approach the situation. And if you're unable to keep your cool, unable to stay chill, calm, or however you want to approach it, um, you're going to suffer a not consequence condition uh on your relationship with glimmer however rave does have the ability to de-escalate the situation mm -hmm. so i rolled chill uh i need material girl first to roll uh her chill oh oh good or you tell me what you want to roll i visualize you being trying to keep your cool like keep your calm totally 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 i think the only other thing I could think of is that she starts. Um, she has so many pillows. So the only other thing I can think of is that a good pillow fight would probably calm her down. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, Bianca, you have something to add. No, you're great. <laughs> Ripping pillows apart and probably, yes, that would calm me down right now. I'm shook, but sure. Um, <laughs> give me, how would you approach that situation and give me the- Fiercely. Fiercely, I'm yeah, fierce okay. pillow fighter. <laughs> I mean, that's valid. Yeah. How else can you pillow fight but fiercely? Oh no. Five. Heck yes. <laughs> All right, you are able to manage your frustrations, your sadness. What does this look like? Like, what do you- what have you done like to the room with your pillows as well? It's like a tantrum. Um, like she's um, like ripping pillows apart and feathers are flying everywhere. And she probably starts going after Rave and Optimus Rhyme. Not because she's mad at them, but just because they're there and they're strong and she won't hurt them. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, are you hitting them with pillows? Yes. Oh, you are welcome to de-escalate this if you'd like, then. Okay, <laughs> right? well, I think I'm gonna de-escalate it by, like, turning it into a fun thing. Yeah. Like, um, so I'm gonna, like, oh! And I'm gonna, like, do one of those, like, rolls off of the the chair onto the floor and then, like, grab pillows and just start throwing them <laughs> at Material Girl. 
<laughs> like he's laughing hysterically, yes. like what? All right, give me that stunt roll. Or stunt's just... That this is just, it's just a chill. Yeah. One. With your chill. You're able to participate. Um, how effective you specifically are. I mean, I think Optimus Rhyme just by standing in place probably makes Material Girl feel a little bit better, <laughs> but you're not entirely ineffective that's fine we're, we're turning <laughs> this rage into something else yes um and this poor fan is gonna show up with skittles everywhere feathers everywhere yeah and us like what's optimus prime doing because right now like we've got rave and material girl running around throwing pillows <laughs> optimus is desperately trying to figure out how they're going to approach the for lack of a better term, Glimmer was the general, mm -hmm. at least in Optimus's mind. And so Optimus is trying to figure out what their approach is going to be for the second half, for everything, actually. Uh, green room interaction, interactions with everybody else. Um, everything was kind of based off of not necessarily a follower mentality, but a make them proud mentality. And so Optimus is, inside the suit like flipping out as the the pillows are hitting the suit is completely <laughs> solid patient ready to rock but inside the suit there is a a, a small thin figure going what am i gonna do i can't understand it. he's all these uh images are floating around as they're trying to figure out exactly what their next approach is going to be so um yeah there's a a literal internal struggle for optimus rhyme right now want hmm this is one of those things where I don't necessarily know if there's a mechanic for it but I want to invoke a mechanic for like personal emotional struggles <laughs> sure um I, I in fact I would I, I'm gonna make a suggestion in that it would be easier for Optimus to uh, approach whatever struggle he's having from a technical or one of his stronger attributes but I would like to do it by more of a glimmer attribute almost like that's the what he's trying to channel and so as they're doing this um, I would like to do a fabulous which I'm not good at <laughs> so uh, you know with that uh, approach that mindset maybe to ground oneself uh, uh, a a um, a relationship role with glimmer but glimmer's not here <laughs> how's that sound i think that's wonderful <laughs> okay uh here goes an awful fabulous role let's see if come on optimus it's not awful not negative <laughs> it's, no it's not it's not that, that's a positive great, response but it's a success not the best of successes um, you were really just rolling against yourself. Um, I won't evoke, invoke any conditions because you still did pass. Um, but I can't, I mean, Optimus Ryan would still have the emotional kind of strife to deal with. It just may not be as powerful, but like that power vacuum does still exist due to the lack of glimmer. Um, and if, I don't know if anybody wrote these down, but I do want to take a couple seconds just to run through your relationships with Glimmer, because relationships are such a big factor um, in how you talk to each other and how you see each other. And one of the 50 pages I have, I did have the relationships got you all gave me. I think I have them all. That I is written Glimmer down in noticed. a book that isn't here. I've got mine, I found it. Yay. So, to Glimmer, rave to Glimmer. Who did you hook up with last week? I don't oh, think that was correct. No, though. that no, that wasn't with it was Material Girl. Um, right. but I looked at Glimmer as my younger sibling. <laughs> Cuz I remember it made no sense. Yeah, she was too uptight, man. So like Yes. You know, I love her cuz like she's just she's 
tries so hard. She's like one of those like girls like in, you know, like a younger sister who just like tries so hard to be cool. And you're like, honey, it's just not working. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta like calm that down. Yeah. Gotta help them out through even their style sometimes, you know, you see Glimmer uh, head to toe in the most outrageous. <laughs> she just tailored. left in a helicopter because of a denim jacket. Like, this mm -hmm. is... Mm -hmm. you can... No, honey. <laughs> um, who do you wish you were? Optimus did have some... It seemed like you had lingering feelings of like, yeah, you, you seriously respect Glimmer. Like, you want... I don't want to see you like you do. Do you wish to be her? I would, <clears throat> excuse me. I would definitely say that. Yeah, Optimus idolizes Glimmer. Um, however, I would say that maybe that role that just came through that was a test of, you know, like Rave just said, Glimmer took off because of a denim jacket. And if that's the narrative, Optimus would have questions, questions of <laughs> of faith uh, in 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 Glimmer. So uh, that's where they're standing right now. That's that internal struggle. Uh, idolizing Glimmer, but Glimmer had, you know, this just transpired. So it's a reinvention. Perhaps Optimus is ready to grow beyond the, the idol. We'll see. Ooh. That's a lot to kind of carry on your shoulders, too. Right in this moment, you're about to go on stage, too, right before you meet your fan. Heck. It's a lot. <laughs> it's very heavy. Okay, and then Material Girl to Glimmer. Who do you wish would notice you? Have, Glimmer. <laughs> has she noticed you? Has your relationship improved at all? How do you no! feel that she just uh, left you? She can't just let me. I called this one. I put a, I put a name next to it. I called it Lap Dog. And I'm feeling very stressed out and betrayed. I think betrayal is a correct feeling to have. Yeah. All right. I think everybody's going to probably go into the next squad battle, next DJ battle, with a little bit of um, a condition, but we'll worry about that later. Mm -hmm. The doors open behind you. Double doors, they burst open. And can I have everybody give me one adjective? We're going to build the world's best super fan together. So, starting next to me, I'm going to come up with, um, they are short. Greg? I am going to come up with, and this is a TGI Friday uh, throwback, flared. So, every element of our merch, buttons, <laughs> stickers, is flared all oh over them. Oh, dear. Okay. Material girl? Mm. It can be a personality adjective. Loud. <laughs> oh, good. I enjoy that one. And rave. Intense. <laughs> I think we have this. We have just built the best super fam. <laughs> the doors burst open and almost spotlighted by the entrance of these uh, gray doors is a short figure in oversized shoes wearing a denim jacket that you couldn't actually tell it was denim because they're so filled with pins, ironed on patches, uh, Sharpie. Um, they've got bangles, they've got hair ties, they've got hair pins. They have about 10 different lanyards around their neck with all the shows that they've been to just in the past month. Um, their jeans have all of your signatures and glimmers. You can find glimmer signatures on these pants about five times. Uh, it's definitely clear these pants have never been washed. Um, the Sharpie is super sharp. And uh, <laughs> this intense, loud, flaring individual stalks in. I got to think of a voice. <clears throat> I'm gonna do my best nasally voice. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is it the entero bangs? Oh my goodness. I don't think I can do this. I need my puffer. Okay, where is Glimmer? 
and they scan the area looking for their superstar. Is this why the fights were happening? I tried to fight somebody on my way here and they got stabbed. I need Glimmer now. So did you stab them or did someone else stab them just so we're all clear? You should double you should double check with security. <laughs> but I'm so excited to meet you. Can you sign my pants? Uh-huh. <laughs> looking for knives on them. <laughs> Optimus is looking for stab wounds on the fan. Like perhaps they took damage to get in here. It might be something that looks like a spatter of blood or it could just be some juice. I am texting. <laughs> Our handler saying, can we have security, please? <laughs> I think that detail would be, you You do already have security kind of like stationed in the corners of the okay, room. Yeah, uh, intimidating I'm folks. Gonna just slowly just like dance over to a corner next to a security person. Make it look <laughs> like super unobtrusive. You know, I'm gonna be inconspicuous about it. I'm just gonna dance, pretend I'm having a good time. Cause you know I can jump on this. Can you how are you rolling how are you how are you approaching this dance away? I'm doing it fabulously. Okay. Let's see if our number one fan notices you. Well if I'm doing it fabulously, they better <laughs> I mean they're gonna really notice. They wanna be a well, okay, it's gonna decide if they wanna be a part of it or not. The three. I think you're pretty successful. Um any special dance moves you toss down to... I'm just, like, making it, like, look a little bit more of, like, a personal dance, you know? Like, the eyes are, like, half closed. They're not fully closed because I am not closing my eyes when this person is in the room. But I make, like, you know when cats just, like, slit them just to make it seem? That's what's happening. And But I'm trying to make it look really chill. Like, I'm just zoning out. I okay. in a trance. That's what happens. <laughs> I just feel like trance music appears like quietly around you. Mm -hmm. Not that trance music is quiet, but no, it's not. But like, it's low rave volume, which mm. is still quite loud. Yes. <laughs> I think everybody would take a second look over you as you start to dance away. Oh, um, I'm gonna have to get you to sign my pants later. Rave, you look so great. Oh my gosh, I want to let you know I learned all your dance moves. But it's okay. You're 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 still dancing away. Um, Material Girl, look and they go into their pocket. They pull out a Sharpie. Uh -huh. And then in their other pocket, they pull out a tiny pillow. And it's got your face and it's the sequins where you rub it uh -huh. one way. It's your face and you rub it the other way and it's sequins. I've been holding on to some part of Optimus Rhyme this whole time. Not hiding. I would never do that. Um. <laughs> But I will slowly start making my way through the feathers to take the Sharpie. <laughs> Can you please sign my pillow and my pants? There's a spot on my calf. Here, let me put my leg up on this table while wow, there's a lot of Skittles everywhere. Yeah, we were having kind of a party. Oh, wow. You're so cool. Can I eat some of the Skittles? Sure. Um, they just eat whatever Skittles are within reach from huh? the ground, from the chair, from your hair. No, I'm gonna sign that. Signing it. <laughs> Do you write any lovely messages? Just uh, says like smooches. It's perfect. Oh my God. Can I, I have to, um, and then they proceed to take their pants off. They're wearing just like boxer shorts underneath. Uh, and then they start to fan the calf area. This is the best day of my life. Don't worry, I've got my long johns as well. It'll be okay. Um, security is approaching closer. <laughs> um, Optimus would hold up the hand too. Our do not worry, security. Um, inside Optimus's suit, Optimus is furiously pulled up a zoomed in area of the lanyards that they're wearing and started to cross-reference those with vids of the concerts in which this person attended. 
and is scanning the crowd in these vids, finding the individual and watching and pulling up whoever's on stage, whether it's Optimus or Rave or whoever it is, and then pulling up a side-by-side -side of the super fan and watching, watching just exactly how in sync the two are for every member. And then when Glimmer comes up, their Optimus is very, very intently going over each of these vids and comes to a realization. I have an idea, he would say to Material Girl. Okay. We need four. No. They are identical. No. Their performance is identical. We need four. That's just math. You're just saying math. It's, it's fact. I, math and fact are both four letter words. <laughs> there are a lot of other four letter words that you could have chosen and you choose math? My program is PG rated, so I would remind you that she was really angry i i think this might be a relationship role with I think uh, so. it, <laughs> this um, is a big ask this is a really big ask all right sorry to interrupt but i was having some mic issues am i heard now yeah yes thank you <laughs> oh, yeah, I saw in chat that it said you were muted, but I thought at some point I saw you mouth something. I didn't think you were actually saying words. No, though. well, luckily I have three microphones all around <laughs> me. <laughs> um, so I just switched to a different mic. Okay, so the big ask. The person doing the asking just got a fate po gets a oh wait. The friend gets a fate point from the GM just for hearing you out. Material girl. So we've restarted. Everybody should have four mm -hmm. or three. I'm not really sure. I think four. It was, yeah, four. So material girl, you will get an extra one. So the big ask for this explanation, we'll call the character doing the asking. So Optimus Rhyme uh, is asking a favor of a friend. First, the player ask. First, Optimus Rhyme describes how they're asking, then rolls to overcome with the most relevant approach. The difficulty of this role starts at mediocre, which is zero, but it can increase in a, uh, in a few ways. It'll be more difficult um, if you are asking somebody who has a different rating in the approach that you're taking. So how are you approaching this situation? With math, so it is technical. technical. <laughs> Everyone's favorite four letter word. Uh, hey, material girl, you got three in technical? No, I have a one, though. <laughs> All right, difficulty of one. Uh, does your relationship already have any conditions? I don't believe so. I don't believe so. And then... Uh, now, it, correct me if I'm wrong, but couldn't Lauren take strained and get a bonus to her role if she we wanted to strain our relationship with if this you app? Wanted to, yes. Um, or however, aw I think awkward's one, strains two, and then yeah. not talking's four. We started oh. awkward. <laughs> um, and then there's also a plus two um, on the friend that might make granting this favor more unlikely. Okay, so obviously Material Girl doesn't love this question. So this will have a difficulty of three. Okay. Is this he rolls it or I do? I believe he does. Good. Yeah. You just benefit by being the person talked at. <laughs> I, I love that. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. That's right. That's right. So can I take, um, and I'll take, I'll take an awkward. I don't want to strain it. I would like just to get the extra die. Can I take a. So hold on. If the relationship already has conditions, increase the difficulty by one if it's awkward. So this is going to make it more difficult according to this. Oh, 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 okay. I, I misread that. I'm sorry. I was doing the uh, the one before that and I 
just goofed up the headings. <laughs> okay. All right. So I just have to get three. It's <laughs> like, great. All right. Let's do it. Ka-chow. A two. What did you get? You got a two? No. Well, if your rule fails, now your relationship is awkward. Because, Material Girl, you didn't love the question to begin with. Um, don't forget, you can definitely invoke either a aspect here if you find it necessary to either re-roll or add plus two to your roll. Okay, uh, what about fate? Can I use fate here to help out or is that... I'm like your fate point? Up. Yeah. Yes, that ha is, you invoke that by using an aspect. Okay, then... Uh, the aspect that they would use would be, um, let me see. <laughs> what fits? I think that it would be, what's the culture one? And you're standing here beside me and I love the passing at the time. This is the one where um, Optimus knows that family and performance and being a unit is where they're the most successful and they're the most comfortable um and in their mind there has to be four and with glimmer not being there that that's just he's defaulting to that they want to make sure that there's four of them up there that they're that strong unit and um so it would be you know the culture of the dj it would be the 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 performance uh or not the performance that's the other one but um, just making sure that they are as they were when they left the stage for. I think that's wonderful. So you can either re-roll or add plus two. I'm going to just take the plus two. I'm not chancing it. <laughs> <laughs> Smart move. All right. Material girl, you're actually amenable to this suggestion. And number one fan is breathing really, really heavily uh, on one of your pillows right now. I'm going to take a very long breath. And then when I turn around, I'm all smiles. And I skip over to this person. Hi, so we actually, there is a part of the meet and greet that you won entered i don't know um that you haven't been told about yet oh it's the reason glimmer isn't here because it was her idea that you perform on stage with us what no way i need to get on twitter to tell everyone hold on maybe wait on that because it's got to be a surprise right oh how do you feel about makeovers um we didn't even detail any like what what's um uh... terrifying That's i'm really fond of the boil on my face i've named her margaret can they stay um we'll discuss it we'll talk about it okay okay i've always wanted a skin but like you have to be super famous and super pretty and super rich and like my hobbies are collecting seashells so i only have so much money and then i go to all these shows and i spend my life savings but oh my word yes please okay um i have this thing I don't know if this will apply here. Hold on. Mm. Uh, super cool. Oh, you've got a fan club. <laughs> when you fabulously create an advantage by talking to your fan club, you got plus two to your role. Yeah, so what if we didn't have the boil? I mean, give me a fabulous speech to them. No. Um, if you want to instruct their makeover, just give me a tiny little monologue at how you want to fabulously uh, create. So by creating an advantage, we are just simply going to create the skin for oh. um, number one fam. Hmm. Uh, and my only ask is that you include Margaret the Boyle. Mm -hmm. We can put like a little face on it. <laughs> uh-huh. 
can like with glitter. Yes. Yes, like a tattoo. Yeah, it'll end up looking like a piercing, like on stage. Yes. Perfect. We're so far away. Okay. Just so. <laughs> Well, playing out. games are weird, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's the quote of the century, right? There. <laughs> they are so weird. Okay, we're going with like. I think Material Girl, it's not so much. I don't think it's so much talking. I think it's a lot of like smiles and nods and touching on clothed parts and not boxer brief legs. Oh, I think they put their jeans back on. Oh, thank God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, they just do that to get the signings. Okay. <laughs> Had to make them intense. Um, so I think Material Girl is going to go to like, I don't know if we have wardrobes in here, but that sounds oh, yeah. good. I want a full, like, I want full 80s makeover montage. Mm -hmm. I want... <laughs> I'm probably raiding Glimmer's closet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And question is, is the idea to like, is Optimus's idea to pass them off as Glimmer? No, and as the music changes to something very journey appropriate, uh, <laughs> Perry was replaced. Um, but no, 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 uh, Optimus is suggesting that uh, because this person knows every dance step when they're behind the turntables comparing the vids the fan and glimmer were identical in their movements they the math held up and so we're not replacing glimmer with another glimmer we're replacing uh -huh. glimmer's abilities and uh the songs that glimmer performed with this super fan cool cool so we're going with like i think we're going with like Beyonce in the musical six. We're going with like, I think we're calling them Queen Margaret. Queen Margaret, all right. Yes. So it's very like modern take on like Tudor Renaissance mm. clothing. I'll send you pics, Bianca. It's a great Please. musical. Okay, cause I, I'm just picturing like those fruity neck things. Yes. That they wear. Oh I, my when God. I hear the word tutor, I think of that. Oh yeah, the Madonna, yeah, 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 yeah. Madonna Vogue that... MTV Awards. Yeah, it's the one that um, I showed y'all a while back. But... Mm -hmm. I think while this is happening, Rave is invoking um, Find Your Bliss. Okay. Um, so it's like to try to like get the fan like like yeah like this is like in gem you know how there's always that section in gem where there's like the the music video portion where yes. the, the event is happening and now it's turned into a, a music video yes. um that's i that's how i'm picturing that this is so like find your bliss is invoked we have rave like singing the song and dancing well material girl is like you know getting queen margaret all set up and like going through that montage and optimus rhyme is like calculating the math <laughs> it's that zach galifianakis shot where it's just like numbers <laughs> and equations oh yes are there any benefits to your stunt rave it's not a stunt it's an aspect oh it's your aspect you're evoking okay so typically you're going to utilize a fate point or a reroll. um well, can I give that to yes, Material okay. Girl or to our Queen Margaret? Probably to Queen Margaret. I don't think she's not a real DJ. She might no. not have an appropriate stat block. Yeah, so I'm giving that to our Queen Margaret. I'm trying okay. to like play this up. Like, it's your day. It's your day. You know, oh, that there's got to be at least a couple of twirls around oh, and, like, yeah. the scene where they burst out of the changing rooms with like new and absurd clothing that doesn't quite work. And we're just like, no. But then when they come out in the right thing, we're like, yes. 
Um, a Bowman has reminded me that you can invoke to declare a story detail. I always forget about that because I never utilize that when I play fake games. I just say like the detail. I'm like, that's real now. Yep. Okay. Um, well, my story detail is that Queen Margaret does know how to DJ. Like excellent. they have like a small little cheap thing at home, but they at least know like the basics. Okay. Perfect. With that detail, I'm going to give them, I'm going to remove this. They're going to have a stat of ones. Uh, they just don't have any threes or twos. Okay. Which helps. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's better than just someone dancing. Mm -hmm. Than like a poorly put together uh, DJ skin. It's of... not poorly put together. <laughs> it's not poorly put together. I haven't even rolled yet. That's true. I do want to peep the picture. Oh, it's beautiful. So I don't even know how to describe this. Um, how do I describe clothing? Somebody like, the... <laughs> like Tudor. Modern Tudor. Tudor. Punk pop concert? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Girl group. It's the Spice Girls meets the Six Wives of Henry VIII. It's amazing. Yes, that's perfect. Their boots are so beautiful. Everybody's hair is fabulous. The outfits are like trimmed and lined and they like they sparkle. They've got so much detail. It's really wonderful. I really like that. And then we have Number one fan's outfit. Neo Tudor. <laughs> All right, Queen Margaret is ready. Optimus rolling? Rhyme. I do need that roll still. Thank you. Oh, from from me? I believe so. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool, 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 cool. And I get a plus two. Yes, from your stunt. Ah, ah six. Oh, heck six. yeah. That's great. That's appropriate. <laughs> Heck yeah. So Mark, hey, can you tell me how beautiful Queen Margaret is? I mean, honestly, I don't know if I believed that I was capable of fine art until now. I think you found a new skill. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> FM, the announcer, strides in. All right, we are going live in three minutes. Everybody, and she eyes, or they eye Queen Margaret for a moment. Uh, are they, who, who, who is this again? They're not on the roster. No, it's a surprise, FM. Do we need to set anything up on stage? Nope, they are ready to go obviously, and all you have to do is do what you do best. Be amazing. <laughs> Their name mm. is Queen Margaret. Queen Margaret. All right, Material Girl, I'm going to go announce all y'all. And FM walks out on stage. We are still in wintry Winnipeg, where the stage itself is multiple pillars of ice that have been raised above the ground and are connected through a series of chain bridges. The whole thing has this winter wonderland feel where there are sculptures in ice. Um, the staging area for the fans is this snow, like this giant igloo with LEDs on the ceiling. It's probably actually super hot. Igloos are hot as shit. However, the Winter Wonderland theme remains. FM struts onto stage in their cyborg-esque outfit. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the finale of the DJ Superstar Battle. Coming out on stage, I have the exclamations and your nemesis walk out on stage first. I even made little blurbs for them this time, which I bet I lost. <laughs> I lost them. That's okay. Oh, it actually really sucks. Oh, well. We have their wonderful leader and his wonderful chest hair, Hiss. And instead of a crowd cheering, they all let out this really weird 
hissing sound. Um, but Hiss loves it. And he like opens up his V-neck shirt a little bit. Um, however, as we've discussed as a team, he only has the shape of his chest hair in the V. Um, the rest of him is pretty naked. Uh, so when he pulls out his, opens up his V-neck, it's just like the perfect V of hair and then like the outline of the skin. It's a look. The crowd goes wild for it. Followed up behind him is DJ Dog. Here, the crowds are woof, 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 and he barks back. Little tail goes like crazy. This corgi's on fire. Then we have gloom. All the lights go dark. And then the spotlight goes on gloom. They're covered in darkness. They are wearing black. There's not a single shred of light until they look up and their white eyes fill the arena and the crowd goes wild. Last but not least, carrying a couple of <laughs> eco-friendly trash bags is Eco Edward. The crowd hushes a little bit and nobody's too sure what to expect. He takes the time to go to the edge of the, the raised ice pillar and starts to open up the garbage bags. Oh, I keep hitting my mic. Inside are a thousand tiny pillows of Material Girl's face. And on the back, they say, Eco Hazard. And he starts to throw them into the crowd. As they get tossed, they open up and leaves emerge out of these pillows. <laughs> Wait, is he saying that what he's doing is an eco hazard? I'm confused. Nobody can understand his message. You have to check Twitter <laughs> for that. Even better. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows. Like, there's leaves inside. Is that the eco friendly part? What's the hazard? Uh, Are he tosses. Hazard? Right? The crowd goes wild, but like, a lot of people are also confused, and you can see a lot of the glow lights of uh, people checking their um, their Omni tools or their phones to figure out what's happening online. And then FM is the center of the stage. And finally, we have the Intero Bangs. Give me your entrance. We'll start with Optimus Rhyme. <clears throat> well, Optimus is going to stride in very obvious, you know, rigid, straight arms. But uh, what they're going to do, I would like to roll commanding presence here Ooh. since I haven't had a chance to use it. Um, I would like to do so. It says, and I think I can put it up in, there we go. Uh, people know to make way for the queen when you're around. When you walk through a crowd, you can spend a fate point to make any NPC DJs in the scene roll to over overcome with chill against a difficulty equal to your fierce rating, which is Oof. two. Oof. For each NPC DJ who fails this roll, you get a boost that goes away at the end of the scene. Oh my word. That's a really good stunt. Mm -hmm. Who are you, uh... Who are you trying to intimidate? All of them. I can All hit every them. one of them. Yeah, they have to uh, roll against my fierce, which is two. And so uh, this is this is Optimus trying to not take the place of Glimmer, but continue up to the expectations that they would feel that Glimmer would want from them. So uh, being the first member of the Intero Bangs in, they want to be able to set the stage and set the mood and um, make the exclamations uh, shake perfect okay found my character sheets all right first we'll do dj dog all right they're actually a squirrel that's why i have a squirrel icon for them <laughs> <laughs> they're just a regular squirrel in real life and they're rolling their chill oh. their chill against my fierce which is two this dog ain't got no chill One, so that's a fail. So you have an advantage against DJ Dog now. Right? For each you fail this roll, you get a boost. Yes, which is uh, effectively an advantage in the situation against a specific DJ. Excellent. Okay. And then 
Eco Edward. That ain't got no chill. Did it roll? Oh. Oh. Minus <laughs> four. Wow. Wow. Distract. Wow. Sit down, Eddie. <laughs> wow. <laughs> he is in awe of you. <laughs> Gloom. He's got a chill of. Oh, wrong button. I fail. <laughs> 225. <laughs> this will be plus two if it loads. So a plus three for gloom. Oh, plus two. Oh, okay, okay. Shoot, I thought I had it. <laughs> <laughs> no, and then finally, hiss. They're fabulous. They don't have a lot of chill. I don't give anybody any chill. And a one. I don't have, I, they make it to a two. All right, Gloom is the only one you don't have a boost against. Which is Fantastic. interesting. Oh, like I remember good. who was what technical was this person. Yeah, no, that's excellent. And the advantage against DJ Dog will be in your favor. That's really good. Dang this stunt. There are nice ways to win this game. Excellent. Math all right. wins all the time. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It does. No, no. Always. False. 100% is math. Is it though? All the time. Material girl. What? What kind of entrance do you make? She enters from the sky on a swing because I haven't used my swing yet. Oh, I didn't even remember you had one. <laughs> yes. What kind of swing? What am I a picturing here? What kind of swing? Not like one... your kind. Okay. <laughs> like a pastoral, like I'm under the oak tree and there are flowers everywhere. And they're all real. Ooh. Yes. And I'm only wearing a robe right now. I mean, it's a fabulous robe, but I have something coming. Ooh. All right. Do you want to stop here before the actual reveal? Yes. I'm going to wait. Okay. FM announces Material Girl as you cascade beautifully on this very normal swing. <laughs> with the <laughs> organics around you and rave what kind of entrance do you make yeah um rave is gonna start with their softer look they're they're continuing the find your bliss this is like the the um the reprise of find your bliss and so i come out and i i come up like on an ice pillar that's in the shape of a table because i yes. always dance on tables and it's in the table ice pill made out of ice and then i come spinning and it's a flurry of feathers because i am in my soft feather find your bliss look uh yes. with all of the pastel feathered crop top like tube top essentially and then the big wide-legged like palazzo pants that are all just feathers done in like uh, an ombre pink purple and light blue Ooh. on one hand i feel like you'll be freezing cold but on the other stage lights yeah i'm fine <laughs> and i'm dancing yeah you'll be good and then finally we have rave and your entrance, uh, <laughs> somebody did remind me. So the, cl the crowd is throwing snowballs um, in support. This is what they do in Winnipeg. Um, if you ever come to Canada, throw Real snowballs fact. in support. Please the don't fact. actually. A math fact. It is a math fact. Only the math facts win. 100% <laughs> of the time. <laughs> All right, let us DJ battle. Last off, 
we look at the table. So the way DJ battles operate here is you have to approach the scene with your DJ skin in a certain, you, you approach it with your certain approach. So up top, um, these tokens should be swatch, switched, sorry. DJ dog, my little token of a squirrel. And then my cyborg-esque person. Everybody here is on technical. So Optimus, Rhyme, and DJ Dog were battling using their technical approaches, i.e. with their DJ setups. Um, the way that Optimus, Rhyme had succeeded was by uh, beating the opposition with the roll-off, effectively. And he was able to use his technical skills far more superior su superiorly a lot of consonants there, um, to beat him. Therefore, he got a point. This token with the X here, this represents how the crowd sees you. Currently, they are more feeling Team Interrobang. Thank you for that pin. <laughs> Multiple pins, uh, pings. And the closer they are to you, um, the more points you can acquire. So let's start this DJ battle off. Optimus Rhyme. Because it is the finale, DJ Dog has a booth set up right in front of you. This will be a beat off. Mm, I'm gonna reword that word. Sorry, a what? Yeah, yeah. No, I take it back. Bless. Time for some math. <laughs> All right. It was yep. so right in my head. <laughs> Saturday morning cartoons. Yep. It's all in the implication. <laughs> Never in oh, the explicit. <laughs> um, I also need Optimus Rhyme. If memory serves, Blipstream. Was that your song? Nope, that's mine. Heck. Big Rock? Big rock. Hell yeah. I was just going to keep saying words at you until you eventually caught on. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you are going to have a DJ off. <laughs> you know. But with your music. So DJ Dog has the table set up. His tail is wagging. He has a bone in his mouth. And his little corgi paws are on the turntables gonna give you his roll. Technical, he has a plus three. Don't forget you do have an advantage against what? Oh, one plus three. I can I can count. One plus three is four. His tail stop it. <laughs> Lauren! <laughs> You've killed me. Uh... Can you beat a four, Optimus Rhyme? And if so, how do you do it? Your tail will not wag, as well as this corgi's. The crowd is howling with barks for DJ Dog. Okay, so how does my <clears throat> advantage work here? <laughs> I was hoping you were going to ask. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say I win. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you just get a plus two. Okay. Can now um, again? I, I don't mean to, but can I spend a fate point here to give myself an additional plus two if I again evoke an aspect? Can Are you gonna I... destroy this dog? I am going to destroy him. I'm gonna cry. Yeah, you can. <laughs> okay, so I would like to put that all down, and of course, we've come we've come this far. Uh, there's no way that he is going to leave math now. So technical is the, but with the beat, since this is, of course, a uh, to the beat off, um, we are going to uh... <laughs> stop. <laughs> yeah. So Optimus, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll before I talk shit. So let, okay. me, <laughs> let me, let me roll before we, we, so I do this at a plus four, if I'm right here. House of six. What? Is this even without your aspect or with the aspect? That's without. I did not put anything in there. I just you said it was plus two with the advantage and then plus two with the aspect. So Correct. that's the that's the raw roll and then plus four would be the 
That's his raw roll for the beat off. <laughs> You're all fired. I'm I'm throwing softballs to Lauren. So that's... <laughs> softballs? I thought this was a beat off. I gotta go. <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Static shows. Um, <laughs> we excuse this interruption. <laughs> Okay, so first, narratively, I want you to describe, so the advantage you've created, how do you impose your intimidation against this poor little corgi who is just trying to make some music? Well, well, right, but as DJ Dog is standing there, um, with the hard light around the outside of Optimus, Optimus would walk up and the hard light that forms his sort of robot body would switch and instead there would be a denim jacket where and it's the identical denim jacket to what glitter was supposed to wear and they would take two behind their counters and everything and behind their rig and optimus would just stare at dj dog um the color scheme would shift completely to glimmers uh like hollow rig and everything that uh, she had used and but he for a moment as the beats begin on his tables he would look up at and the microphone would curl down from like a port in the side of his helmet. And <clears throat> he, he would say, once again, back is the incredible Optimus Rhyme animal, the uncannibal in tarot banks number one, five oh said freeze and you got numb. And then um, he starts. <laughs> so. And destruction. <laughs> Destruction is an accurate word. Uh, decimation. Uh, yeah, I mean, with that roll, the token absolutely moves up. The crowd is roaring. They're not even throwing snowballs. They're just throwing snow at you. <laughs> Ice shards, maybe? They're... Is there a chant that Optimus Rhyme encourages from his fan from their fans uh it wouldn't be one of personal adulation um if 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 they can start it optimus would just start saying intero bangs intero bang and so the the group is is praised as opposed to the single player heck yes all right you have acquired one victory point which puts you at a total of five. I think we had, did we mark this? Yeah, I'm. Yeah, it would have actually. What uh, did the token? Does the token restart in the middle? I don't think so because the okay. crowd already kind of started on yeah. your. So I think it actually would have moved him, the token adjacent to our stage, which means two victory points, right? Because it was kind of in this fourth column. I just moved the crowd token over. I put it in the wrong direction. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> also, my dogs have chosen this time to growl playfully right by my feet. Hmm. I do love them. I tell myself that every day. <laughs> Excellent. We got all of our tokens in the right spot. <laughs> We're not going to do Glimmer. We'll do Glimmer last. Like, Queen whatever. Margaret? Yeah, material girl. Yes. So Wearing I believe your beautiful robe. <laughs> yeah. So I believe that because Optimus Ryan moved the token toward us, I can change the approach. Yes. So I'm gonna move to fabulous. Finally. Were you shady before or fierce? Yeah. You were shady. Shady. Okay. Excellent. That yeah. forces. Yep. Eco Edward to also be fabulous. However, that's what he's good at. Good. It will be equal then. <clears throat> so. Oh, I think my music is Blipstream or What is Love? Either one of those. What is love? Baby, that's what I think too. Not so. Like this, but. <laughs> I think that. Um, so the swing flies into the air and she kind of stands, the normal swing flies into the air and she kind of stands on it in her little heels and robe. Um, and the robe is tied in the back with a ribbon. Um, 
So she kind of attaches it. It's very much like the beat. Oh, you know in Moulin Rouge when Satine comes down in the swing. It's like that. That's the kind of swing this is. Finally, I get a reference that you've said. <laughs> <laughs> this is payback for yeah. something. It's fine. Um, <laughs> and she is going to kind of, so attach the ribbon. This is, this is all very safe. Um, and like a Cirque du Soleil type move is uh, going to kind of descend just by the ribbon without the swing. Um, so the robe kind of unravels and that when she lands, she is wearing like a little cloud poof. Have you ever seen, have you ever seen Little Nemo? No. Lumberland, I don't know why anybody should have seen it. No. It's fine, but they, they wear like these little cloud poofs. The other thing you can think of is um, like burlesque performers, and it's like a little, it's like a little poofy thing. Trust me, this all makes sense. <laughs> okay, um, poofy. Yeah, it's a little poof, and it covers just enough. And um, as she like unfurls as she descends onto the stage, uh, these like streamers start going everywhere, and much like Eco Edwards. Um, without having his face on them because who wants to see that <laughs> um they all say they're all biodegradable and they'll say that on the back and they're all very very shiny the end <laughs> all right eco edward takes issue with you stealing his thing he has something in his back pocket though um and this is one of those things that kind of i've based entirely off memory i've done literally zero googling but i'm certain that um you know that metal confetti it's not metal um the confetti that's kind of sparkly uh -huh. it is so bad for the environment because it's not biodegradable it's small enough that it gets everywhere so even when you take it to like the you put it in a garbage bag it gets out it get, gets caught in the wind and it's just like rampant like it's awful um, so, Egward Edder, Eco Edward <laughs> approaches you, um, on your pillar, and he has a couple of groupies behind him. They're all wearing these capes that are billowing, but they're billowing constantly, like there's something underneath him, and the spotlight shines on him for a moment. He throws his arms up. And he announces, I am the only environmentally friendly one. It's Material Girl who is here to ruin your world. These groupies were sent by her. And with a flourish, they raise their capes and those horrible little like glittery confetti strips go flying everywhere, thus polluting the world. And a series of boos goes out to material girl what would you Wait, like to do i have first of all because of last time i have a plus two against his yes, sabotage thanks to optimus rhyme um so i think that she kind of expected this and so these like cyborg holographically enhanced butterflies appear with like carrying little nets and before the streamers can hit the ground, they just scoop them all up. <laughs> and then, and then um, she kind of pulls a cord on the puppy thing because we got two costume changes, oh, and yeah. it kind of explodes into like a big butterfly gown. Oh, that's beautiful. Is that what you planned this whole time? Sure. Yep. <laughs> I love it. The crowd goes silent, and it isn't until the reveal of your butterfly that it finally all makes sense to them. Eco Edward was the one who was being environmentally unfriendly, and Material Girl is saving the day. Unreal. Give me some rolls. Okay, so I have a plus two already, and I'm going to invoke an aspect to get another plus two because I don't trust him. <laughs> 
I'm gonna invoke probably fly like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Okay. That's there. Of course, this was planned the whole time. <laughs> Obvi. So that'll be a total of seven. Oh my word! Legendary. Okay, let's see. Um, I'm gonna use Eco Edward's approach of well, it should have been save the environment. Um, I will still roll with it, which gives plus two. Then he has plus three. Get right. Five. Wow. I thought for sure he was gonna have this. Get wrecked. All right. Uh, can you describe to me how crushing it looks for? Edward to be not just ruined musically, performancely, but emotionally. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Thanks. <laughs> math. Yeah. 100% of the time. Yeah. You don't need words. It's math. <laughs> it's just math. This was just math. Um, I think that it's almost like she is a disco ball at this point and all of it is just like casting him further and further back into the darkness of offstage um i think he would definitely shed a tear here or there um he's an emotional boy and he had this planned out these weren't even like real groupies they were just like hired people but he's escorted off stage Oh, there was a network error. Please try again. Our stream is offline. That could be me though. Hold on. Don't press buttons. Please don't press buttons. Is it was me. It's Yeah, it looks like we're good. Fine. <laughs> that was my internet dying. You're still here. Brave. Mm -hmm. Gloom with her six foot tall platform boots. Six foot tall platform boots? Six inches. Wow. I get my metrics mixed up. Six inches. Six feet. You are a whole person tall. Those are stilts. <laughs> How do they walk? Okay. Lots of training. Six inches. Very carefully. <laughs> they stalk over to you and they're just emanating darkness. Of course. What is your... What is your song to okay. face off against Gloom? Yeah, so this is the EDM one. Um, so at this point, what happens? Because like, I'm up against Gloom and I'm in my feather find your bliss look. So what happens is you hear like, right before the music starts, you hear oh, with like a chorus of angels. And then you see those holographic feathers start to come down as like this really bright spotlight shot shines down on me on my ice table with my guitar. And there are holographic like giant angel wings behind me. And it's very bright, very like serene and the, this really like more like chill EDM starts happening. And I start like playing my <laughs> I start playing my guitar to start different sequences and stuff and there's like little cherubs dancing around and flying around and swooping. Sorry, just for me, a cherub is a tree? A cherub's like in the Victorian era, they they really liked those cute little like Cupid. Oh, like right, those right. cute little baby angels. Okay, that are never actually that cute, but yes. Well, real, like, angels from the Bible are actually really horrible. Like, they're yeah. monsters with, like, many eyes and, like, six and wings no coming out. Like, th no genitalia. Yeah. They're, but <laughs> cherubs are cute little things. Yeah. Yeah, babies are cute. All right. <laughs> Gloom definitely has to swap, like, swat away one of the cherubs from her dark, dark vibe. Oh, and I'm using Fabulous, too, by the way. Ooh. I'm moving. You're gonna, I, uh, I think, what, do you have to evoke a fate point to do that? That's fine. Okay. I, I had four. Uh, well, I had three because I invoked one. So now now I have two. Yeah, I invoke one. Um, And I it's the find your bliss. I'm still going with that. That's the theme of today's Saturday morning cartoon episode for Rave. <laughs> Beautiful. That is going to force... 
don't know. I got my weird icons mixed up. I wanted that to be gloom. <laughs> Get out of here. All right. Yeah, and what does this do again? No. Yeah, mm. yeah, uh, that, that's what I'm doing. I'm just being fabulous. Okay. In a wave of feathers. Forced into approaching this as a fabulous situation, I think Gloom would have a little bit more of an issue. So instead, she reaches into or pulls out wherever her phone is, scrolls for a minute. <clears throat> I have some poetry to read. Um, depending on what her role is, I will read you some poetry or not. Oh uh, gosh! Way to even... bring down a party. <laughs> is that not fabulous? poetry? Oh, like, this poetry. Is such a little emo girl. Oh, what shit. is she gonna say at the end of my tunnel? There is no light. <laughs> Can I fight? But I do not have the might. Oh my word! Where's my dice roller? Give me that fudge dice. Okay, she plus. Fabulous, she has one. Plus, uh, don't have a very good aspect to evoke. They don't have to. They can just like be under Find My Bliss, you know? It's my bliss. Welcome to Cherub Land. Creative no matter the cost. Hence the poetry. <laughs> no matter the cost. Um, so that's a minus one, which makes it a one. Uh, she has a plus two. Okay. I should roll, eh? Please. And I've invoked an aspect. So that's plus two? Correct? Yes, that is correct. That it is. So... Five with my plus two. Oh my gosh. All right, oh, I'm going to start reading some poetry and then you're welcome to crush me at any point. I just Googled poetry and this is by Charles Baudelaire. Do you remember... <clears throat> Do you remember... The sight we saw, my soul. My cherubs uh, immediately soft. go flying around Gloom and Running. start like shooting these little Summer. heart arrows at them, and then it explodes in feathers whenever it hits them. I think that's pretty accurate. And um, then they get feathers in their mouth. And it interrupts that whole dark vibe that they had going. Mm -hmm. Looks a little too bright. Yeah, you crushed her. Absolutely, I'm dancing crushed. with my keytar. <laughs> what um, what's the color scheme of your keytar? Oh, it's um, it's like that shimmery holographic. So it's like that silver with a bit of like pink and blue and purple, depending on how the light hits it. Beautiful. Yet another point for a total of seven. Nervously, Queen Margaret. Didn't get a proper intro. She's been, they've been kind of milling um, off the main stage and finally FM forces them out. You welcome, we have one more member. It has come to our attention as all y'all know that Glimmer, the powerful, the beautiful, the illustrious, has had to take a step back for some technical difficulties. And if all y'all are about to start some riots in here about that denim jacket, you can just leave. The crowd's pretty neutral. Queen Margaret steps on stage wearing her, wearing, yeah, her now, wearing her, <laughs> how do we describe it? Tudor, modern Tudor, neo Tudor pop punk neo tutor pop punk outfit uh before fm leaves they hastily shove the microphone into her hand and she holds on to it nervously um thanks uh the music stops i guess i guess i have to sit i have to make some music uh there's a couple booze in the crowd. She looks around and then for the fake 
uh, crew on stage, music people, she gives them like a thumbs up and they start to play Is the right one. Nope. Sorry. I dug that one. Yeah, I mean, I was like, okay. I think we'd use that for something else, but it works. Queen Margaret moves the mic closer to her mouth. Okay, I can do this. Me and my boil, we're gonna be fierce as fuck. And Hiss, who's already been glamoring the crowd with his chest hair. There's a bit of a wind and it's just been billowing majestically. He points over at her. You're nothing against me. You're not manufactured. You were put together in five minutes. Good luck, honey. And the battle will ensue. I'm just gonna do a couple of straight, well, I mean, I guess, I'm just gonna do some straight rolls. Does anybody wanna roll for Queen Margaret? Um, I will. How can we help her? Yeah, right? Like, um... You can... Hmm. You can give her fate points, but that doesn't necessarily help because she has those. Relationship. We can make a story detail, right? Yeah. Do it up. Okay. I don't know if this is... I, I'm not sure how to do this. I'm learning. Um, so I use a fate point to make a story detail, and let's go with just in the theme of technical difficulties. Maybe Hiss is having some at this moment. <laughs> okay, I like that. Um, create advantage rolls. We're gonna create a disadvantage roll. Thanks, Lo Bowman. Uh, with the technical difficulties that Hiss is having. Um, part of his skin, there's supposed to be a holographic snake that kind of emerges from the top of his head and will go around the entire stage, but it stutters, it glitches, and nobody's impressed. So he's gonna get minus one to his- minus two if he uses the fate point. Um, I will invoke his aspect. <laughs> can take you down easily. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> huh. Bianca. Yeah? <laughs> Beat off can take you down easily. Got I know where your head's at. Mm -hmm. I guess I need roll 20. Um, so he's got plus two, minus two breaks even, but he has, where are we? Fierce. He's got plus three and fierce. I'm only adding plus three. Oh, there, you and those D100. It's right next to my fudge dice. I just really want to roll them. <laughs> what? Um, two. Two. She, she can do it. She can do oh it. My gosh. We believe oh my gosh. in Queen Margaret. Can I so, send some of my cherubs to like dance around her? Can we think of an aspect for her that we can evoke or invoke? Yes, somehow. The little bit that we know of her and her Number love one of... fan. I mean, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> Number one fan. I, I no, think she knows everything about how this goes. Yes. Imitation is the uh, greatest form of flattery. Yeah. Yes. There we go. All right. She's got a plus four. I'm afraid. It's taking so long. Did I click it? That not that's sad. three. That's three. That oh, three to two. It yeah, didn't it even load. What was it? Oh, you got it's negative ones for one. each one. Yeah. So oh, that's why I didn't know. It's the exact same thing. Oh, but she still wins. Yeah. <laughs> With the help of all the dance moves that number one fan has memorized and that Optimus Rhyme has reminded her that she knew of. With all those cute cherubs flying around creating a wonderful wholesome scene with all of the technical difficulties that Hiss is experiencing. Number one fan dances, sings, and evokes such a powerful emotion with the fans 
that there's just like a snow wall being thrown at you, hitting that invisible <laughs> barrier. It is outrageous. Ugh. Damn. Well. All the fans in the audience are like living through Queen Margaret's absolute yeah. delight of being on stage with Oh, us. Twimter is on fire with this news. In the, the background, Optimus just goes, MASH! <laughs> <laughs> There's only two more victory points that must be acquired. Oh, sorry, I haven't updated them. What oh. is, what? what's the, how many victory points do we have? Oh, for a total of eight, I think. Because we acquired three. Right, my mapping right? Uh, I think we actually acquired four. Four because everybody hit the rounds. Yeah. And the exclamations don't have any, right? No, they only have the one. They have one. The only thing is like the token. I know if the token is adjacent. I'm wondering. Um, oh, what the so when I looked at it, once it gets adjacent to you, it goes back to the middle. So actually, I think we're. So one. We were at six before, or four before we left, right? And yeah. then Optimus moved it to his adjacent. So that's five, six. Then it goes to the middle, seven, eight. And then Queen Margaret. So nine. We, we have nine. Also, DJ Dog died. <laughs> like, <his> DJ <laughs> Skin died. Um, that was a point. So that's 10. Oh, we are Queen demolishing just... this team. Oh my word. Did Queen Margaret just win for us? Yes, yeah. she did. This is why the crowd is going wild. Can you all give me your final performance? The crowd <laughs> shouts, encore, encore, encore. <laughs> oh, Queen Margaret and your boil. We were just going to cover the final scene, the encore. What can the Interrobangs offer to the crowd one last time before they are ushered off stage? You, you were crowd surfing, weren't you? Yes, I was crowd surfing, yes. Mm -hmm. And I wanted a roll. Yes. Do you have any feet points left? Yeah, because I had an extra one. I, I still have like three. Nice. Yes. What should I do? Um, I mean, how are you approaching this crowd surf? Fabulously. <laughs> of course. Give me that fabulous roll. Right, and I'm going to invoke an aspect called a cuddle monster. Because I can. Are you cuddling with some of the people as you're crowd surfing? Listen, crowd surfing is basically like cuddling. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to argue that. Yeah, uh, let's, we'll let it pass. Uh -huh. <laughs> so five. <laughs> Heck yes, you crowd surf so fabulously. Everybody's super respectful of the way that like you're you're crowd surfing. You get like a good shoulder pat in for a couple people. Um, yeah, no, I mean you get all the way to the end of the crowd. It takes how long does it take for you to get to the end of the crowd? Oh, yeah, let's go with like five minutes of crowd surfing. <laughs> really fast cuddle crowd surfing because I'm trying to get to the other side so I can go confront Eco Edward off stage. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, a security detail does follow you, just to make sure you don't like fall on the ground or anything. Optimus Ram, sorry, did I ask how your finale is? Uh, well, what Optimus would do is, as seeing all of his friends hook and uh, crowd surf and do all these things in this glorious celebration, um, uh, Optimus would go up and they would move their rig beside Queen Margaret's and um, because I I'm assuming Margaret wouldn't have anything prepared for a finale since they weren't sure that they were going to be playing. Um, I had no idea. So he would get up there and Optimus would lean down. This is what I did in Sacramento. <laughs> Knowing that Margaret would have watched that performance. And so as soon as she would start to kind of get into it, he would get into it 
and he would turn to the crowd as as right when uh, uh, Material Girl goes by, this large hand would go out to high five Material Girl as Material Girl floats by. And uh, then uh, he would reach out and grab the, the holographic hook and pull Rave onto the uh, stage as well, if that's okay, mm -hmm. not taking agency. And then um, he would, they would turn to the crowd and say, Yo, it's about that time to bring forth the rhythm and the Optimus rhyme. I'm gonna get mine, so get yours. I wanna see sweat coming out your pores. On the house tip is how I'm swinging this. Strictly hip hop, I ain't singing this. Bringing this to the entire nation. Black, white, red, brown, feel the vibration. And. <laughs> ow, take ow. it out. <laughs> oh, the crowd loves it. Margaret picks up. Um, you know, she's mildly familiar with how to work a turntable and she's vibing like wild with you. Rave? Yeah, well, I'm on there with my guitar and I'm like putting like orchestral hits in there, you know, to, to go with uh, the, the turntable and the scratching and the rhyming. <laughs> Beautiful. And then the curtain drops. You are all ushered back into the green room to unwind, have some Skittles, have some drinks, say goodbye to your enemies and unwind. Everybody is in the green room with you. They're all sitting down pretty tame. Um, DJ Doc has his own bowl of food, uh, dog food. Um, he's dressed as, he's a squirrel right now. Uh, but he's still eating dog food because that's what squirrels do. Uh, and the other two are just sitting at the table, uh, having a couple drinks out of their DJ skins and just hanging out like normal people. How would you like to unwind? We're ending this scene. Are you dancing? Oh, yeah, I'm like, we just killed them. So like, I am just like, Woo! like screaming and yelling and clapping and like slapping everyone on the back. And I'm like, bring on the champagne! Uh, Benji, Glimmer's um, helper, who didn't go with Glimmer, brings out a bottle of champagne nervously. He, he stumbles a little bit. H here you go, I I'll open it. Uh, oh, and it no. Definitely... I could just grab it and I'm like, and I, I shake it up. <laughs> and I pop it. Woo! Beautiful. Hiss in the corner, or sorry, Gloom in the corner. Do you mind? We're trying to rest over here. Go to your dressing room. It's currently under construction. There's too much, too many lights right now. Too bad, sucker, loser. We don't want to party with you. You ruined our perfect performance. I just continue to scream and spray <laughs> champagne everywhere. <laughs> Uh, material girl goes over and sits on Eco Edwards' lap, lap and starts like doing her nails. Um, do you mind? These pants were made from Hawaii. They're made out of bamboo that was imported from China. That makes no sense. I'm, well, you know, Eco Edward is just a face. Uh, the rest of me is much like yourself, covered in everything fake and a waste of my time and he tries to like stand up but no <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> he can't do, do you mind i've got no, some... i don't mind i'm very comfortable that show you ruined you know that was supposed to make you look bad yeah oh is that what you were trying to do did you not understand my message i thought it through very well no, I don't think anyone understood it. That's why they were booing you. I'm pretty sure they were being... Wait, that was at me? Yeah. What? He's a little emotional now. Good. So he'll <laughs> stop squirming so much and I can do my nails. <laughs> you can do your nails properly now. Yeah. Uh, Optimus Rhyme. Well, the... Optimus Rhyme would seem to be standing in the corner, motionless completely, but that's just the suit. Um, a very small, thin figure is outside as the snow is blowing um, and has a phone and pulls up the holographic image. And as Glimmer would appear, 
he would say, we did it. 10 to one, we did it. In that scene. <laughs> Perfect, oh my word. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you for succeeding in this DJ battle. Thank you for your outrageous characters. Thank you for the extroverted details. And thank you so much for just being you. Thank you for leading <laughs> us through this. No problem. I really like this game. It's fun. I just like it has so much potential. Like, is this never mind? Like, it works so well online. It works so well offline. Um, as somebody who doesn't love combat, I really enjoy the the approaches of the situation. Um, it forces you to handle a situation in a certain manner, and I really like that. It doesn't like take away any of your agency. It just you gotta be shady. You gotta throw some math out there if you're gonna be technical. <laughs> stuff like that well um as this is many of yours's first fate game what have you all liked so far about fate on roll 20. Uh, Mike much like any system that I'm using for the first time roll 20 always helps because it directs your attention it doesn't you know, if you're using a traditional character sheet sometimes you get lost in having to do the math ironically but um with roll 20 again which is why i use it all the time um it really helps new players and new players to a system point and click and play the game keep focused on the game and not the math and that's what really saves my bacon a lot because um i'm able to stay with the story and continue to listen and not have to worry about wait a minute what do i add here or what does this need to be and so again it's just the default for many of the things that you get to do on roll 20 it makes things easy whether it's a broad system like D D for a new player to rpgs or it's a a smaller system for new players or experienced players to understand it and uh, the more you understand a system and enjoy it when you're rolling the more likely you are you're going to come back to it and exactly. uh that makes that makes this much more likely for a lot of people to come back to myself included so i enjoyed it immensely oh yes how about you victoria uh, I mean, you and I definitely use Roll20 a lot for our own games. We love the music aspect, but like, has there been anything like in terms of the setup that you've really enjoyed? Are you muted for stream and not for? No, uh, it's just because my levels are because I had to change microphones um, mid thing. Let me see. Input properties. Oh, I know. Ha 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 ha. Was it real low? There we go. No. Um, it's fixed. So <laughs> <laughs> it's a thing. Um, so yeah, uh, where was I? Uh, roll 20, character sheet. So right, the character sheet. Really it's nice really thing. easy. Um, you don't have to flip through rule books to get all of like your feats or your stunts or whatever they have. Um, and I really like fate. It's super simple. Um, I like rolling fate on here because then I don't have to do the actual math of, oh, that's a plus, that's a minus, that's a, that's a blank. Um, it just shows it right up there. And it's fun. And this game is a lot of fun. Um, I just like how ridiculous it is. <laughs> I, I love me some ridiculousness. Always. And Lauren, notice I left you for last. Thanks. I love Finally, going last. I respect you. <laughs> <laughs> it only took three episodes. <laughs> um, yeah, so I really like the game a lot. I, I, I've only played Fate once before so creating the aspects was really fun for me um 
And again, I mean, everybody's already talked about the character character sheets. I love the jukebox for this. It's awesome. So much fun. I'm glad that they have that. I'm so happy about it. Um, yeah, I liked how well I rolled. You know, <laughs> I always like that. That's a plus. Yeah, RNG Jesus is on my side. <laughs> I think that's excellent. Um, I mean, yeah, I would echo a lot of the similar statements. Um, what I would sincerely suggest is if you did enjoy this game to purchase the compendium at roll 20, only because the tokens are so cute. I mean, yes, the book is wonderful and it has all the details you need, but oh my word, the tokens are amazing. Um, and if you don't even have a roll 20 account, you are more than welcome to sign up with the uh, roll20.net uh, slash start slash broad squad, the link in the chat. Um, and that would be if, yeah, look at these tokens here. Let me even take 20 seconds. I'm just going to flood the page. <laughs> flood the page with tokens. They're also giant too. But like uh, even accurate representation, like there's so many black characters too, which I really appreciate. I have to go looking for them. <laughs> Um, where's my more mass cleaning characters? I mean, I don't know. They're all just so beautiful. And like, ugh, ugh. Mm -hmm. Fabulous. Marvelous. Yeah, oh, I love I that one. Could really keep going. Honestly, get the game for the tokens. <laughs> and the holographic the armbands on that one. Oh, it was amazing. I love that one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're all so good. I just love it. Okay, and the last one. <laughs> so good. Um, so, I mean, that's kind of my favorite part was the tokens in Roll20. I mean, obviously, there's so many aspects that make it worthwhile. But if there was ever a reason for you to want to get this game, it would be to play in Roll20 because it's marvelous. All right. Um, we will close with... Um, who you are, where we can find you, and what you do. Uh, so, my name is Bianca Zelda. I am a member of the Broadswords, uh, all women on binary D and D podcast. I am also a member of another podcast called Facades of Gods, where I play a fate game. Wow, look at that! Weird. Uh, I guest on a bunch of stuff. I stream things, and I like dogs. <laughs> uh, uh, Greg, <laughs> where can we find you? What do you do? And tell me a fun fact about you. Uh, let's see. Well, um, uh, my name is Greg Grimjack21502 on the Twitter, part of the Tales from the Grim team on the Twitch. Uh, join us over there. We have a lot of fun things. We use a, a lot of different systems. Right now we're running D&D, &D, Savage Worlds, uh, The Witcher, and Call of Cthulhu, I think, right now um, over on the channel, all of which we use Roll24. Uh, fantastic, very like I said, compatible system for new and old players alike. A fun thing about me. Well, um, I am a dad and I have two kids and on Saturday afternoons and Sunday afternoons, we play board games. And I think today is Axis and Allies and Zombies. Ooh. So I will be, I will be, be playing that one, I think this afternoon. So that's my fun fact. That's a had, a fun fact. <laughs> had a great time. Had a great time. Lauren. Hi. I am Lauren. I'm that salty ginger over on Twitter. Also part of the Tales from the Grim team on Twitch, and half of Salty Sweet Games with my best friend Kiana. Stuff I have coming up tomorrow. We're playing The Witcher, uh, but it's super gay. I tuned in by the way, and I love it a lot. Yay! Like a lot. <laughs> I'm so happy. That was really uh, good. That's tomorrow, and then two weeks from today, we start. Masks of Nyarlathotep. <laughs> I'm so excited. It's going to be Pulp Cthulhu with all my bestest buds. We're going to be playing over there uh, Saturdays from 9 to 11 Pacific. I can't wait. It's going to be so much fun. And uh, what's a fun fact about you? It doesn't have to be that much fun. <laughs> oh, God, no. You've, you I always like ask me these hard questions. I know. <laughs> probing questions. I'm going to start. a hobby of mine. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna start coming up with fun facts to just sit out. Make it up on the spot. <laughs> Let's see. I spent, I'll tell you, I'll tell everybody what I told you earlier. I spent hours playing a board game 
over the past couple nights solving a cipher that was not meant to be solved, but I did it. I think the fun fact is that you've got a really, really good sense of persistence. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, I do. Oh, heck. And last but not least, Victoria. Hi, I'm Victoria. You can find me over at the Broadswords where I GM. Uh, and you can also find me on Wednesday evenings at 8 p.m. ET over on the Dot Lot, Little Red Dots Twitch channel. We are currently playing a Teens in Space game where I play Ascension Pottery of Water. And what else? I am the social media co coordinator for Renegade Game Studios. Um, you can find our games like kids on bikes here on roll 20 um and and it's totally set up you can get the compendium and you can play your little kid on a bike all to your heart's content <laughs> you can also join b and i um on our broadswords twitch channel on thursdays every other friday um for well we play some games we play video games we play one shots all sorts of things lots of fun things and uh, what's a fun fact about you? Fun fact about me. Um, I spent the bulk of my childhood and teenage years competing in classical singing competitions. I think that's a really good fun fact. Yeah. <laughs> I won a lot. Just, just throwing that out there. <laughs> just in case we didn't know. I mean, you're a winner always. Yeah. Always to me. <laughs> anyways thank you everybody for joining don't forget that the vod will be available monday i believe i'm hoping if i keep talking it'll appear in chat uh but that's okay uh the vod will be available for those who've missed it you can definitely check it out you can enjoy and once again thank you for joining saturday morning fate games of till dawn Bye! <laughs>